Welcome back to Expats in Progress. Right? Yeah. Cold open. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So. Let's talk about Jesus. We're not going to talk about Jesus today. Because we're Jewish. Maybe in a separate video. I don't know. It's Let's Passover not. coming up. That would be sacrilegious to talk about Jesus. We're not Jesus for Jews or Jews for Jesus. True. We are Jews for Jews. Jews for Jews. Hallelujah. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, my Anyways. God. Um, Anyways, welcome back to Expats in Progress. Uh, as you've seen our last video, or didn't see, that was fun. Yeah. But, um, yeah, happened. this episode... Episode? Episode, yeah. This episode video, we are going to talk about all of our weird niche things when it comes to, like, looking at houses. Yeah. So. And, like, buying an already built house, building a house... It's a whole mood. There's a lot that goes into it. Yeah. So, like, what's your biggest wants in a house? I want a... F oh, jeez. There's a couple of things. Uh, one, I want an open floor plan. Or at least, like, a floor plan that approximates to, like, how open some of the floor plans are in the U.S. At least on the ground level. I'm not going to get that. I don't want that. Yeah, that's just a me thing. Like, also, the houses aren't really like that. And even when I think about that, like... I want, like, one open room, and I want, like, one separate, like, living room for, like, sit-down type stuff. But I want to have the chance to be in the same room as, like, the dining room and kitchen. Sure. Just, it just sounds nice sitting down there. But, like, that's a small thing. Like, I think the big thing for me is really, like, wanting a closed-in backyard with, like, some good green space because, like... Well, the good part is every house that we've looked at so far literally has a fenced-in backyard. Yeah, there's a couple that haven't when we've been looking at a couple of the terraced houses, but most detached houses have it. Yeah. And most terraced houses also have it, but a few don't. Yeah. But, like, yeah, I just want spots for, like, our dogs to run around. I want a house that feels big enough that, like, our two big doggos are going to be totally fine there. Yeah. Is that all? Those are the main things on my brain. There's probably okay, more. So about... I'm high maintenance. <laughs> I want a house that's completely detached. I want room for a gate to get put in. Gate would be nice. Or if it already has one, that's fine. I would like it to be completely enclosed in, but it doesn't have to be like fully fenced in. Um, I definitely for sure want it to be easy ish to wire ethernet and everything through for like the security systems and everything. Uh, I feel like that's your big thing, honestly, is the Ethernet thing. Yeah, I really want to add Ethernet. That's actually not my huge thing. My huge thing is detached. Yeah, that's Must fair. be detached. I'm not living in a terraced house. I'm okay in principle with the idea of a terraced house if it's really nice on the inside. There's like one or two terraced houses you've looked at and you've been like, I can kind of get behind it. I can kind of get behind it. But then all of a sudden I think about it more and I'm like, mm, no. It's very selective. Like... I, when I think of, like, a tourist house, like, in my brain, it needs to be, like, kind of, like, London townhouse-y. Yeah, I don't want that. Like, something that's, like, very tall and actually has a lot of space in it. Because the problem with a lot of the terrace houses is, like, uh, our couch that we are sitting on is slightly wider, wider than, the whole house. than the house yeah. for a lot of them. Um, but It wasn't done. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, I also really want the kitchen to not be tiny because I keep seeing a lot of these houses with our tiny little kitchens. Yeah. And meanwhile, for me, like the kitchen is like, that's the center point of the home. Yeah. Like it shouldn't just be like a closet. Yeah. And then also I want space for two cars side by side. That part's hard. It really isn't. Once we, once we upped our budget to 2 million pounds, it's been fine. We're relatable. No, our budget's not that high at all. It's anywhere between 800,000 pounds and 2 million pounds. See, See much more we relatable. Re we relate with the, with the common folk. Moving to a country during a cost of living crisis. Stop. Cut that out. Okay. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to cut that out. Oh, shoot. <sighs> Awkward. Yeah. But yeah. It's, it's a whole thing. And a lot of it, we don't know like how, what our budget's going to be because this is like 2027 ish. There's. And then there's like getting the private plane to move the dog, the dogs over. We just sound so and relatable. And our Birkin bags and all of our bag collection because you can't check those. 
And then... We have a lot of very specific problems, which maybe we'll go into in, to a vid in another video at some point. Yeah. Because of, like, our jobs and stuff and, like, social media stuff. We have this channel, but, like... We also have many other, other social media endeavors. This is the most real you will ever see either of us. Yeah. Is on this channel. I will leave it at that. Yeah. But, yeah. No, we don't have secret OnlyFans. I wish, though. We'd be moving a lot quicker. Would help with that. Maybe? I don't know. I, it, it I should try it. Put some of my old nudes on there. True. There's no harm in that. Yeah. Yeah. Are we starting an OnlyFans? That oh can God. be like our hook that we put in like oh the my God. <laughs> description. <laughs> starting an OnlyFans to move to the UK quicker. I'm thinking about I'm it. Thinking about <laughs> I'm it. thinking about I'm it. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Uh, but yeah, it's finding houses. And like my big thing is I want to be able to put Ethernet all throughout the house. I found different companies in the area that we're looking. Uh, I can't really get a quote or anything because... Also the houses, some of them are really 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 old like older than the country yeah, we're currently try, living in trying to put ethernet through stone or brick walls is just not going to be an option which i was thinking about that you could run ethernet up to the top and then get crown molding so it's behind the molding it's That's a, a cool thing. idea but if it does have stone or whatever walls then we can't use those cameras i was looking at because Shoot. it can't go in the wall so things to think about security system is a big thing for us yeah too and like we have this problem to a lesser extent but like if you're looking at any like youtuber or anybody that's like fairly well known like they're probably thinking about that they're more like way more well known than us we are not that well known. we are not well known like i'm not trying to say we're well known it's just we like have specific security things i work for the government yeah that's pretty much it in multiple countries jazz hands but I don't yeah, do anything that interesting. That's pretty much it. What are we at? I don't know. I can't read. I can't read either. Oh. In the UK, they have better vision care. Yeah. Uh, okay, I can read by going closer and ruining the shot. Uh, we are at seven minutes and forty-three seconds. Okay, so we still got. We got we got three two, more minutes to two fill. Two and a half ish. But yeah, like when it comes to house stuff, we don't know budget. I know I want it to be semi newish, and when I mean newish, I mean I want it to have drywall and not concrete walls. But concrete walls are nice because it makes it stronger. I don't know. It's I'm I like battling the look. myself a little bit. I look. I like the look of concrete a lot. So do I. I just have to figure out cameras then. It's I, a whole thing. And there's like new build concrete houses versus old build concrete houses versus like. Yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot that and goes like, into it. There's a lot of, like, contemporary modern houses where, like, there's a big old pane of glass on the front, and that's... I now really that I'm liked that one. I do, too, but now I'm just thinking about it from a security perspective. It's horrible. Yeah, and just, like, the location and all the other stuff. Like, you know what? I want privacy. That That is one of my so things. So you want it to be in the middle of nowhere like I do? Yeah. Also, we were looking at cars. To be more relatable, we were looking at G-Wagons. Yeah. Thumbnail. Slight, slightly more relatable. But yeah, slightly more relatable. Ish. Uh, not at all. I'm realizing as we do these videos, we are not relatable in the absolute slightest. And it's really refreshing to understand that. We should embrace it. I embrace it. Like be as unrelatable as possible. Oh my God. Like, um, um what's her face? Stay at home daughter. Yeah. Like really lean into that. Oh my god, that could be so fun. We can be like the eccentric gay couple that yeah. has completely unrelatable interests. I, the honey, we already are. We literally already are. That is us. Eccentric gay couple. Oh. What? We are, yeah, that is us. You think? Yeah. But yeah, uh, that is our home buying journey of the moment. It's a lot to think about, and it's just preoccupying our brains because we're trying to figure stuff out. But there's so much time. Yeah, when, and it I, doesn't... when I was looking at networking stuff today, it really ignited a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, and then do we want to build a house? I mean, 
in theory I do, but then I keep seeing all the problems with the home builders in the UK, and then yeah, I get Red scared. Yeah, Row, Taylor Wimpy, Bluer Homes, Miller Homes. Um, we've looked at a lot of home builders. Yeah, the, the Facebook groups that talk about things that go and wrong. And we joined the Facebook groups that like is like, don't buy Taylor Wimpy or screw Red Row and stuff like that. They have, just to learn about the bad stuff. They have, they have a lot of bad stuff. Like, honestly, we, we, we have a new build home here and we thought like new build homes around here had a bad reputation. No. Our house is great compared to some of these. Like some of these brick homes, they just didn't insulate. Some of them are missing. In a cost of living crisis. Some of them are just missing a brick or two or three or like. There were none that were missing bricks. They took bricks out to insulate and then they forgot to put them back in. Black mold, water crisis, water leakage. Oh my God. Like those are nightmarish things, especially like thinking about this way, like we're moving over there. Like it's not like we're just like, we don't have the same options as a lot of folks because we're moving there over there. It's not like we're getting like just a loan and have to make like a relatively small down payment. Like, oh no, as expats, you have to have minimum 25% down payment. And that's really big to run into those kinds of problems, which would then tank us financially. And it could lead to a lot of really bad situations. Yeah, it really could. But yeah, I think we'll end it there. <laughs> yeah. Remember to like, comment, comment subscribe, subscribe, hit that notification button if you want to see us continue to be relatable. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Bye.